Hello everyone, it's Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball. Tonight's edition is for all of you science lovers and who want to talk about body positivity. Here is my science edition on portion control plates, you guys. So, whoops, hold on a second. There is a plate on the market made by this company called Portion or something like that. What's, their, what's the company's name again? It's called Portions Just Right. Um, the company is based out of, um, actually it doesn't say, ha, huh, I'm lying here. The company is run by Dan and Mary Cassidy and they are selling a plate that is supposed to be humorous and um, nudge people into making the right choices about portion size when they're eating. The products are actually created and sold through a Shopify website, So, um, and they say that the, the plates are made at their factory in Poland. I'm, it's likely that these are just, uh, you know, cheaply made plates that are selling for $9.50, but here's what we've got. The portion control plate, it's got a lot of people pissed off. As you can see, it says mom jeans for the fatties, or so they'd like you to believe, favorite jeans for those that are in the middle, and if you really wanna wear your skinny jeans, you're apparently supposed to starve yourself. That's right. We're trying to sell a product that encourages women to basically starve themselves and insinuate that if you don't eat a small portion, you will not be able to fit into your skinny jeans, but rather, the ever elusive and um, mockery mom jeans that we all talk about. So yeah, these, these plates are terrible. So the products are actually being sold at this really small sort of brick and mortar like concept store inside of Macy's. And they are sold in the, the it's called Storytime. And so at their flagship store in New York City, they, they are selling these plates in the story time section, which is dedicated for small businesses or entrepreneurs that sell products. And they're not like available online. They're literally only available in store. And in fact, this specific product is only available at one store in New York City. Now, this company We'll get into it, but why this became such a big story is a woman named Ellie Ward who has a podcast and she's a reporter and she writes for science and she writes like science content. She made a tweet on um, yesterday, hold on one second, that says, how can we get these plates from Macy's banned in all the 50 states? Obviously the plates have a fat shaming connotation, right? And so a lot of people were sort of irritated that Macy's would sell a product that effectively tells women that, you know, if you eat a lot of food, you're not going to be able to get into your, you know, desirable skinny jeans because everybody want to wear some skinny jeans. But apparently um, skinny jeans can't be purchased in different sizes and therefore, you know, you just got to eat less. Now, Macy's responded very quickly because this tweet went nuts and in fact, Miss Jamila Jamil actually retweeted it, which got people, a whole lot of people talking. And Jamila Jamil said, F these plates, F these plates to hell. Now, her tweet on this got 11,000 retweets and 87,000 likes. The original tweet by Allie Ward got 3,300 retweets and 30. 3,000 likes. So this thing was viral and Macy's responded pretty quickly by pulling the products from the store. They actually, which is surprising, they like, it took like three hours for them to pull these products. So it says, hi Allie, we appreciate you sharing this with us and we agree that we missed the mark on this product. It will be removed from the, all of our stores at 
all of our stories at Macy's locations. So I was like, dude, why would you make a plate that even insinuates that a woman would, if they overeat, are going to fit into mom jeans? And who the hell cares how much a, mo a woman wants to wear or how much a woman wants to eat? And portion control, seriously, vegetables take up a ton of volume. So, do, uh, so does salad. So does fiber. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's high in calorie. So portion control plates... I don't think so. So that caused me to do a little digging on their website to see what is this company like all about? Like, what is it that they're selling? Like, who are these people? So on their website, this is what they say. The idea for portions came from several years ago when I was reading another sky is falling account about obesity. While it's easy to demonize foods, beverages, and empty calories, I came to believe, like many others, that portion size was a main culprit. From the corner donut cart at to big gulps to all-you-can-eat-and-drink buffets, portions have gone through the roof. Of course, the actual table where we use everyday plates, glasses, mugs have grown exponentially in size as well. The initial inspiration led us to design a conceptual line of tableware that definitely mixes social awareness with humorous nudges in the right direction. It's um, much funnier than it sounds. It truly suits the way we approach solutions, practical, irreverent, and engaging. And it says, Dan and Mary Cassidy are the founders, designers, and multi-hat wearers of portions. We have long established careers in the fields of advertising, graphic arts, and fashion. The extended team consists of two ambivalent, ambivalent children and an indifferent dog, and we are thrilled to see our vision finally eight years become a reality. We look forward to working and raising a glass with you. So that's their belief. So they didn't even really say, like, this is actually true, you guys. This is why these plates should be worked. It's just like, it's our belief that plate portion sizes have gotten too big, and that's why everyone is so fat. Mary and Dan sound like the kind of couple that are totally judging you while they're watching you eat at the restaurant and talking to you about, you know, all the different like things that they do. Like, I'm sure Mary does yoga, Pilates. Mary probably only drinks like sugar free, like protein shakes that taste like barf. And Dan is probably like at the gym 37 times a day and only drinks water and never drinks beer. And if he drinks at all, it's only a Michelob golden light. Like that's how I imagine these couple, this couple. So they also sell products. Not only do they sell this plate and this single plate is $9.50. Yucks, yuck, yuck. So they also sell, here, I'm going to pop it over here. On the mom jeans ones, it's this is what their product says. There's nothing like broken in, faded, ripped in the right places jeans. They look great, and more importantly, they fit great. So keep your eyes eye on the middle circle, and you'll always be in fashion. Yep. Then they also sell what the fuck plates, which, you know, are, you know, no problem, great, and WTF. Um, they have spaghetti or get to the spa. They have manicotti or man overboard. Um, they have feed me or feed bag, which says, um, I'm sorry, arriving at the dinner party is a bit is a bit, pers uh, I'm sorry, I got to put my glasses on, you guys. I can't see. I'm so old. <laughs> All right. It says, arriving at the dinner party is a bit peckish in recommended acting like you're at the all-you-can-eat buffet, not at all. After all, you, here, I'm going to just blow this up. After all, you want to save room for dessert. Yes, those bacon-wrapped water chestnuts to, are to die for, but please use some restraint. Seriously. Then they have coasters that say it's fine if you if it, it's a fine line between whiskey and frisky. 
<laughs> it's a fine line between risky neat and you're sloppy. And then this is the one that really pisses me off, actually, because this one is totally slut shaming. And it says, um, impaired by the scathing humor, inspired by the, the scathing humorist um, Dorothy Parker, our version is a gentle rom um, <laughs> reminder that, hold on, you guys, I'm so blind today. This isn't cute. This look of me causing. Okay. It says, our version is a gentle reminder that bending an ear and elbow with friends is fun, but regrets not so much. And the lines say under the influence and the top one says under the host. Like Mary is also judging you if you go home with somebody. So Mary's all, how many drinks has Kathy had? Has Kathy had three? Is she going to be getting some? Ooh, she's going to be regretting that. There's going to be a walk of shame tomorrow. Um, they also have on the lips and on the hips, which basically reminds women that if you drink too much wine, you can get fat. So these are just, I can't even stand this company. I want to like scream because like in a world of like, we already have enough on our plates, but a bum, like seriously, do we really need to be reminded by the flatware that we choose to buy or the glasses that we choose to drink out of that we are drinking too much or eating too much? And do these products even work? Because I have, there's all these like fad diets where it's all about small boxes and if you eat in small plates, you're going to eat less food and it's, it's going to be the right thing, except portion control isn't actually the issue and, and volume isn't the problem because you could eat a crap ton of lettuce and it could fill that whole plate and you'd probably get 10 calories out of it. So it's not really going to do what it says it is. So that made me think about do smaller plates like this actually help you work? Do they actually work? So I found a study on Science Daily that was published by the Ben Gurion University of the Negev um, under American Associates, and they looked at a study. It's published and it was published in Appetite, and it debunks the pop popular diet trick based on the Del Beluif illusion that predicts people will identify size sizes differently when they are placed within larger or smaller objects. The classic experiment shows that people perceive a similar black circle is smaller when it's embedded in a larger circle than when it's embedded in a, in a smaller one. So basically saying like, does plate size matter? Would you be able to identify if the portion was the right size? Would it actually like, would you be able to determine what's you know, if it's on a bigger plate, would you know it's uh, what the right portion size was than if it was on a smaller plate? And so what they did was they examined the way foot food deprivation actually affects your perception of food in different contexts. And it found that people who hadn't eaten or at least at least three hours are more likely to identify the portions of pizza placed on larger or smaller trays correctly than people who had eat, eaten recently. So whether or not you're super hungry or not super hungry, you can still identify the right size portion. Um, and it's basically what they said is, this is sort of the conclusion that they've come up with. It only worked when it applied food. Both groups were similarly inaccurate when asked to compare the size of black circles and hubcaps placed with different size circles. According to researchers, this indicates that hunger stimulates stronger analytic processing that is not, ne not ne easily fooled by the illusion. So they said over the last decade, restaurants and other food businesses have been using progressively smaller dishes to conform by the perceptual basis that it will reduce food consumption. This study debunks that notion. When people are hungry, especially when diet, dieting, they are less likely to be fooled by the plate side and more likely to realize they're eating less and more prone to overeating later. So basically, these types of plates are not going to help you. It's only going to make you more aware that you're not eating enough, which is then going to make you in your mind think, oh, my God, I'm, I'm going to binge later. And when you're on a diet, you are seriously so conscious of the amount of calories that are going in your mouth. So portion size doesn't equate to eating less and size of the circle won't stop you from overeating if you're going to overeat. 
And all this plate is gonna do is make you $9.50 broker and make you feel like a, flat, a fat slob if you eat the full size plate. I can't believe Macy's even put these plates in their stores, to be honest, and I can't believe the company actually thought this was like appropriate. And why, why, what's this thing about shaming moms? Why are you have to, why do you have to shame moms by calling it fat, like mom jeans? What's wrong with mom jeans? If a woman has had a baby, are they not entitled to have a little extra weight on their body? If a woman is selflessly putting their lives on hold and taking care of their children and maybe not eating appropriately or maybe eating too much or carrying a little extra weight, whose business is that of anybody else? It's certainly not the business of these people who have an entire store dedicated to making you feel like crap for eating too much. Not to mention using a theory that literally doesn't hold any water. It doesn't, scientifically, it means nothing. It does, it's just another fad. That's all it is, is just another fad. And this company is like run by Mary and Dan, like the sassy assholes from probably, I don't even know, New York, who knows? Mary and Dan sound like jerks. I mean, why do you care, Mary, what other people are eating? And why you got a slut shame? And why you got a fat shame? Mary, I'm gonna come over to your house and see if you're wearing skinny jeans. Hell, hell I'm gonna go over to your house and check to see what you've got on. And then I'll determine how you look. And I'll decide if you get to be in mom jeans. So ladies, don't feel bad. Eat whatever you want. And you know what? Like you, the only person that matters in what your size is and what you are doing with your body is you and your doctor. And if your doctor is concerned about your weight, work with your doctor. Or if you're concerned about your weight, work with your doctor. But don't look at these fad products and these plates and these portion controls as a means to help you achieve what you want to achieve. And don't feel like shamed into believing that you have to always wear skinny jeans. All of us have days where we feel frumpy or bloated. It's part of being a woman. The last thing we need are crappy products that keep reinforcing this idea that women are dainty and should only eat a tiny bit of food and, you know, should just like not keep our legs closed. Like seriously, Mary and Dan, I... Part of me feels like Mary and Dan are probably also super religious, but I don't know. I couldn't find anything about them. I couldn't even find like their profiles. So I really wanted to double check to see if they were, but I felt like, God, are they like fundamental Christians or something that are like, you can't eat because God doesn't want you fat. You know, like if you are a Christian, I got, I got you. I don't, that's not directed at you, but there are a subset of in the fundamental world that seem to think that overeating is like, akin to being dancing with the devil. So I want to know your thoughts on whether or not you think these plates are inappropriate. I hope you do. I hope if you're following me and you realize what I cover on this channel that you hate these plates. And I want to know if, it, if you think that it was an appropriate response of Macy's to pull the products. Um, a lot, there are some people that are literally like calling it an overreaction and saying that like Macy's, like they're just being funny. Like, why can't you just have a sense of humor? But I am on the lines of Jamila and I'm on the lines of Allie that the message that it sends to women is toxic. So I want to know what you think. Are these plates toxic and did Macy's do the right thing? If not, and you don't agree, tell me in the comments, but please be nice. Don't be mean. Okay. All right, you guys, I'll be back later. Bye.